In Creo 9, we did a project in Multisign that covered three use cases. This is the only video in my Creo 9 series in which I'm explicitly showing Creo 8 versus Creo 9, but I think it's the best way to explain the changes. The first workflow is about the two volume split option. Let's see Creo 8. The default option is individual volumes. If we want to create two volumes, we need to explicitly select it. Now we can select the objects from the list that will be grouped together as first volume and second volume. You can write any name you want on those volumes. In this example, core and pins. Let's see now the new Creo 9 workflow for two volume split option. Click on Mold Volume and Splitting Surfaces. We notice that two volumes is the default option. Now directly we can assign which portion of the mold design is going to the first volume and which ones are going to the second volume, core and pins in this case. The second workflow is about one volume split, which was not available in Creo 8. Having selected the references, when we select the one volume option, all the items we select on the list will be assigned to the volume we are creating. In this case, all the pins are now on a single volume split. The third workflow it's about individual volume split. In Creo 8, select the references, the split volume and the split surfaces. Basically, all individual islands are defined as separate volume splits. In Creo 9, a similar behavior. Selecting the mold volume and the splitting surfaces, now you can see that is not the default option. We need to select the individual volumes option explicitly. Clicking OK will create all individual volume splits. With these changes, we remove existing limitations and add more clarity and control when defining mold volumes. Thank you.